Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joe Winberg, and a lot of what you'll be seeing in this series will be music uh, items by myself and others, paintings by myself and perhaps others. But I wanted to start, A, there's a little bio on this page too, but I wanted to start with something that I call the project, which was a kind of like a year or two study of Marco Polo and all of that business with the Silk Route, Route, Asia, the Great Khans, and so on and so forth. Well, <clears throat> so these are my, kind of like my paintings of what the world looked like when Marco Polo was walking this earth. And another one somewhat similar. Um, so, as you may know, his uncles went there first. And then they came back, and they may have come back with something like a dream in their repertoire of uh, thoughts and mental impressions of what that place was like. They may have even dreamt or brought back tales of places that kind of looked like this, supposedly kind of uh, Asian, Chinese kind of mountainscapes, these sorts of things. Uh, and, and excuse me for the uh, rather sloppy presentation, but I'm trying to get a quick fix on this. Now, <clears throat> at, after Marco had talked to his uncles, he also took off. So this is a representation of young Marco, and you can see him there, leaving Venice to go on his trip of exploration to the Far East. And <clears throat> as he moved east, he went through pr pretty much on the northern edge of a great desert in the western part of China. Actually, a little arm of Afghanistan sticks out here. And then uh, the Silk Road would traverse up here, not in this desert. Usually, in this desert had the kind of nickname that you go in, you don't come out. But he would have marched along the northern part of this. I don't have the name quite at my fingertips, and I don't want to mispronounce it. But uh, it's easy enough to find. And this would be the type impression of what he may have also been seeing as he marched through that desert land. Now, keep in mind, this is just my impressions of what he may have done when he was there. When he gets to, uh, of course, the area of the Khans, and um, it's very romantic, uh, the, the landscapes, the people. So he may have burned in his imagination something like this, the uh, golden moon of the Khan, and... <clears throat> Other landscapes burned into his, because he did a lot of traveling while he was there for the for Genghis Khan. And he would have perhaps seen landscapes such as these. Uh, <clears throat> and to carry, carry this thought a little further, well, they were getting ahead of myself a little bit, but there was a time when the Khan wanted to invade Japan and take over that company, that country, and this is my representation of that. They get towards the coast of Japan, the fleet of perhaps thousands of smaller vessels, and they don't get capsized uh, by a typhoon, Sea of Japan kind of thing. And uh, so that, that didn't work, and uh, the Genghis Khan never was successful in invading Japan. Um, so they do a lot of this walking and... and and seeing places, and this is another representation of what I would imagine that uh, Marco Polo would have seen in his landscapes as he walked throughout that that land. I, I, I'm not quite sure, but I think they, they may have been away for like 17 years. I don't have that piece of information with me right now. But when he does leave, <clears throat> he takes the traditional monsoon uh, passage uh, east to west 
underneath the subcontinent, uh, underneath India, and maybe he would have went on a bark like this back to the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula, and then he would walk up through uh, the current Middle East and with, uh, me, you know, a uh, sh maybe short uh, marine trip and, and get himself into, back into Venice. Where, <clears throat> and then he has uh, quite, uh, quite the things taken to him. And then, after all this is done, this is China returned to China, being China once again. So that's, uh, uh, like I said, it was a project that I did <clears throat> probably for a year, late eight, 2018 and early 2019. Um, this painting here has nothing to do with that. But I, I did mention, once he got back to uh, Venice and Europe and what have you, he, he fell into a, a, a number of unusual circumstances. One, he, he, he bought himself to become an admiral. They were having a fight with, uh, I, I guess it was Genoa. And he gets captured and he's in prison. And somebody in there hears his story and that fella, and I can't think of his name right now, he wrote it all down, and that's where we get the uh, tales of Marco Polo and the travels from that other fella. Well, listen, thanks for uh, listening. And like I said, I'm going to be putting music and other things, maybe some interviews with other people and um, paintings and so on and so forth. I just as you as you can see, uh, maybe you can't, but uh, quite a lot of paintings laying around here by yours truly. You probably can see all of that. This one here. This one here is supposed to represent if you were inside the uh, a hurricane, a cyclone, uh, trying to represent that, and so on and so forth. Well, once again, like I said, thanks for looking and listening and so on.